Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Bumper here, back with a brand new video today. So I recently hit the magic number of 150 on my 4Ks. I think I've slightly gone over that now with a couple of new ones in the last few days. But I just thought I'd do a collection video. I've never done one before. Um, so I thought I'd just do my 4Ks. I couldn't do my full collection. Close to 700 movies, I've got to take too long. So I'm just going to do my 4Ks. So like I said, just over 154Ks. I'll break them down into alpha order luckily i catalogued them on my phone so that wasn't such a pain painstaking task as it may sound and yeah and we'll break it down into um about 50 a batch so i'm going to do a to f to start or zero to f as it may be all right then so we'll jump straight in then the very first one 187 okay so this is from cape light in germany um this is a 4k that you can get in the uk or many other places but i do like this film i used to watch it all the time when i was younger and i am making a point of collecting all these urban thrillers or hood movies whatever you want to call them so yeah samuel jackson is great in this he's got a bit of a dangerous minds feel you know he goes to a rough school and he's got to try and clean it up but he's got some trauma of his own after being stabbed by a student in his previous school um so he's basically a bag of nerves but um yeah it's a really good film so from cape light 187 I wrote four movies here. This is the Alfred Hitchcock Volume 1 box set. So this is the four uh, more popular films in his um, catalogue. So we got Rear Window, Vertigo, Psycho and the Birds. Okay, I haven't watched them all. I watched Psycho, it looked amazing. The black and white was just stunning. And I watched The Birds, that also looks amazing. Although you do have to forgive some special effects work. But I thought it was great anyway. So um, yeah, real nice set, side loading box. You open them all up and you get bits on the film inside. And then obviously you open it up whoop, to the discs. So yeah, I can't fault that. I still haven't got volume two yet because I'll wait for a price drop like I did with this one. And as I said, I haven't even watched all the films in this one yet anyway. So um, yeah, that's Alfred Hitchcock collection. All right, then we got um, the Robert Rodriguez directed film, Alita Battle Angel. Angel, I think it's Robert Rodriguez anyway, he says. It hasn't even got it on the back. I'm sure it is. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Yeah, Robert Rodriguez. So we need to. So this just looks stunning in 4K. Film one now. Great. It was got a good cast like Marsha Ali and stuff. Um, I was with my daughter and she enjoyed it actually. So that's a bonus. But um, I find it a bit boring. But anyway, Alita. Screen Factory release of Alligator. Absolutely amazing film. Amazing transfer. The scene on this when he busts up through the ground through the sewer in the night when the two young kids are stood on the corner. It's just some of my favorite practical effects work um in all the movies i've ever seen so we could slip cover on it um yeah you know where you're getting with screen factory a bundle of awesomeness alligator i did watch the second one but it wasn't very good so i'm glad they didn't release that on 4k because i would have brought the tone of that one down a little bit i guess um then we got arrows 4k of american werewolf in london coincidentally this is actually my highest viewed youtube video on my channel is my unboxing of this so this definitely got his fans look we're getting 4k i didn't have a blu-ray to compare it to so um yeah just happy to have it on the best possible format american werewolf in london steelbook yeah that i've never opened but i got it cheap from zavi in a sale it's aquaman i have seen the film and it does look great in 4k because i've seen the standard release um arena of friends but um I got the steel but I think you'd only pay like 13 quid for it when they done one of these sales, maybe even cheaper. So I will watch this again, but probably wait till the sequel comes out or is due to come out and then catch up with this one as well. So steel book, Aquaman. And then the final one for the A's, a um, bit of completion um, anxiety with this, unfortunately. Avengers Assemble, lovely slip cover. Cheap on Amazon, 6 99 7 99 Age of Ultron, same crack again, 6 99 7 slipcover. And then same crack again, but Endgame with a slipcover by 9 is from Oz on Amazon. So the one missing, obviously, is Infinity War, which is an amazing film. But I've been waiting for a price drop. All these went down to be over tenner on Amazon, but I've had Infinity War in my basket for the longest time, and it's still 14 99 So I've just been waiting a little bit longer. So that's all the A's, we move on to B's. So this is one of my favourites in my collection, if not my favourite from Second Sight. It's the Babadook. So I got a good deal on this as well. This was retailing at 40 when it first came out. I got it for about 28 in the end. Um, usual thing with these hardback um, sets. You get the lovely thick book with the hard book. 
absolutely amazing and you get the art cards and yeah like i said this is a 4k transfer um the film is amazing it looks amazing um it is a bit elevated so it's not for everybody um i know some people find the kid really annoying i did the first time but it's just one of those ones you've got to stick with and you'll be rewarded and so yeah that's how the discs are just in the sort of cardboard sleeve type thing so yeah that's the babadook i really recommend that one that's definitely um high up on bumper's list of must watch must own movies all right then i got this um titans of cult release of batman this is the only Titan of cult release i bought well i got because i want my impress when it came i mean the case is like all plastic and clear so when you take the steel book out you're left with just a clear bit of plastic the batarang the freebie when it's advertised on the website looks four times the size of this so when it came there was a pin badge i was like oh god really but i should have known better and then the steelbook design is absolutely disgusting i don't know who thought of this but i don't know what the hell's going on here sounds like something's rattling inside oh it's just a joker card that you get with it um so yeah so it was a time when i was looking to part with this i gotta be honest because i didn't like it at all i thought it might be able to print so i could get some good money for it but it's not able to print yet so um, i keep it for a while longer the film i'm not a massive fan of either i know it's a lot of people's favorite batman movie and michael keaton's favorite batman but again I, the fight choreography is so awful and it's like it's like a judo lesson Oosh. Oosh. <laughs> so yeah um that guy does better in that kung fu movie that john mondo chalabek was uh watching the guy doing it in his back garden on the people ate the pub so yeah so that's the batman another batman movie batman versus superman bit of a grower didn't like it the first time probably. <laughs> So yeah, so that's the Batman. Another Batman movie. Batman vs Superman. Bit of a grower. Didn't like it the first time. Probably. Okay, sorry, I got disturbed then by the uh, postman. Okay, so where were we to? Uh, Batman vs Superman. So yeah, so a bit of a grower. I do like this extended cut now, the really long one. There's a bit more um, exposition in it. The, the theatrical cut... God, the theatrical cut was a bit too... Um, it's just full of like cut scenes like go see what this person's doing then see what this person's doing then see what this person's doing it was very coherent but this one's a bit better I do like this film actually I think don't think it's worth the bad reputation I guess alright I talked about this one on my last video so I won't spend too much time on it Beastmaster what I will say is if you're a 4k connoisseur you need this bad boy from um, Vinegar Syndrome the Beastmaster awesome 4k Alright, then we got my boy Axel Foley. So we got Beverly Hills Cop 1 with the slip. And then we got Beverly Hills Cop 2 without the slip. Okay, so I have watched both of these. First one wasn't as good as I remembered. Didn't find it as funny as I thought I did. Second one, though, was good. Tony Scott film. Kind of followed it. Definitely improvement on the first one. So, yeah, I'll get number three when that one comes out, even though it's not the best. I think they might be making a new one again. So, yeah. Well, this is one of the first 4Ks I ever bought and still one of my favourites. Blade. Okay, so there's a nice steel book. Wicked design on this. Like, you know, they should have took a note from these guys' books when they designed that Batman one. Um, yeah, so, you know, all still in it together. Nice. A little bit of shelf wear on the box, but nothing too major. Blade, awesome in 4K. And then speaking of blades, we've got Blade Runner 2049. Okay, again, one of the first 4Ks I ever bought. Bought this to test out my new TV when I got my Dolby Vision and all that because someone said there's a reference title. And yeah, it looked amazing. I, I didn't think the film was that great. I found it a bit boring. I'm into more action sci-fi than neo-noir sci-fi. But um, yeah, it's good though. I don't own the, the original at the moment, but I will get it. But um, no, I feel I'm in a mad rush. This one I spoke about recently as well, so I won't spend too much time on this. Blood for Dracula. Again, this is a Wicked Boutique release from Severin. Really well put together, really well packaged. Four discs. So yeah, well worth it. And then last one for the bees, uh, going back to sort of my hood collection, my urban thrillers, John Singleton's Boys in the Hood. So some people say the original one the best. I still prefer Menace to Society, but I love this film as well. So Ice Cube, Cuba Gooding Jr., Nia Long, Morris Chestnut, awesome cast, awesome film, Wicked on 4K as well, especially with the bumping hip-hop soundtrack. Then onto the C's then. First one is a, a remake or a reboot. Candyman by Nia DaCosta. Okay, I loved this film when I seen it in the cinema. And then when I watched it on second viewing on 4K, I wasn't as taken back. So it was still, I did give it four and a half out of five. I think I dropped it to about three and a half. But it was still really good. I like what they did with it, the way they 
blended in the original it was this is how you should do reboots slash remakes you know take the original on board and just um you know expand the mythos so yeah really good candy man then a more recent one i picked up cat's eye okay you watch this one i love this film anyway seen it billions of times when i was younger um i think it's three shorts um best one being uh james woods the smoking one then there's the man on the ledge and then there's the little girl m played by um drew barrymore um with the little troll so yeah cool film cool anthology movie again looks wicked in 4k all the old films do oh there's a new restoration this was quite cheap on amazon cliffhanger um rennie harlan movie with um sly stallone got a nice slip cover looks amazing in 4k with the remaster the scene where they try to transfer the money from the one plane to the other uh, it just looks sensational Oh, a bit of a random buy. Still haven't opened this one yet in the cellophane, but I have seen it in the cinema. Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. This came out at like twenty four ninety nine or whatever, and within like six weeks it was down to like, I think I paid eleven ninety nine, so I couldn't leave it there. But I haven't got around to watching it for a second time after not really enjoying it too much the first time. So that's The Conjuring three, and then we got a nice Arrow box set, Creepers. So this might fall in the P in a lot of people's collections for Phenomena. But I got the Arrow uh, limited edition directly from the website. So it's the old school American um, artwork. So on this one, it's called Creepers. Film wasn't amazing, but the 4K looked amazing. It was a little bit, um, what's the word? A little bit unstable. Like it was heavy in some places and then not so heavy in others. But um, yeah, it was still good. All right then. So that's um, C. So on to D's. Bit of a generic comedy to start. It's only £6 on Amazon. Daddy's Home 2. Really good though. Watch this with the wife. We enjoyed it. Thought it was funny. Alright, some more Batman here. Yeah? Dark Knight trilogy. 4K. Kevin Nolan ones. Okay, okay, one okay, one of the first ones I bought again. Because um, yeah, you just gotta have these films on 4K. The scene in Dark Knight Rises again on the plane, with a jack in the plane, my knees makes my knees tremble, my legs go like jelly. It's absolutely amazing. So yeah, I love all three of these movies. Easily my favourite Batman movies, maybe my favourite superhero comic based movies. Um, yeah, and this is going for 25 quid on Amazon now. I got it in a sale for 30, which I thought was good. I think it originally started at about 40, but 25 quid now on Amazon. Then I got this German release. This film is um, directed by Pollyanna McIntosh. She's a British actress. She's in um, Walking Dead. Uh, this is called Darling. This is part three of a, th um, a trilogy. The other films are Offspring and The Woman. All right. So, yeah, this is my steel book. I picked this up cheap, £8, I think it was, two discs. Um, I haven't got around to watching this one yet. I watched it on Sky, so I have seen the movie, but I haven't watched the 4K to see what the quality's like. But yeah, wicked cover art, uh, all embossed by their wicked design. So yeah, darling. All right, got a second sight release here. This is um, Dawn of the Dead. This is not the um, most elite box sex they did of it. This was sort of one in the middle. I didn't get the, the big, huge, humongous one because... Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the movie, I just thought, but I wanted it in 4K, so I got this version. So yeah, really nice design, really nice side work, side loading slip. I love the design there on the front with the, the neon pinks and the orange. And then it opens up there and you've got your, your four disca. So yeah, can't fall down at all. So Dawn of the Dead. Then I got this one, which I bought up in my last video, my pickers video, so I won't waste much time on it. I haven't opened it yet, so I haven't watched it yet. The Day of the Beast. Okay, then, follow on with the Ds. Boutique release again. Dead Heat. Okay, I watched this one from Vinegar Syndrome. It looks wicked in 4K, as always. Um, I didn't think the film was that great. Two out of five for me. It's fun, like, but um, I don't know. It's well-paced. It get the action starts from the beginning, really. So, if you like a fast-paced movie, then this is definitely one to check out. Dead Heat. Oh, I had another boutique one that I picked up recently. Deadly Games, Dial Code Santa Claus. So this is like a early 90s or late 80s French movie. It's a bit like Home Alone about this boy. Like, you know, he's basically the young John Matrix. And um, this Santa works in a store that his mum's the manager of. And she sacks him for slapping a kid. So he finds out the address and he comes after some revenge. And the kid's home with his granddad. And he's yeah, a bit of a home invasion movie. But yeah, really good. Deadly Games. All right, then we got this Deadpool 2 Super Duper Cut. I haven't got the first one, but I grabbed this solely based on how cheap it was. I think it was like about £10, £11, pounds, and it's got like this real nice thick box. And you open it up and it's got like a couple of discs in there and whatever. A couple of different cuts. Sorry, I don't know if you could see that then. 
So yeah, for the price I grabbed it, they had a slip as well in HMV, but I got it off Amazon because um, it was just very slightly cheaper, but I didn't get a slip, so that was a bit good. All right, the old school horror from the 70s, one of my favourite ever movies. This is a vintage classics 4K, Don't Look Now. Unfortunately, I haven't got into watching this version yet, but I've obviously seen the film tons of times. Julie Christie, Donald Sutherland. Um, yeah, I think it's set in Amsterdam, is it? Absolutely, no, in Venice. What am I being Amsterdam? In Venice. Absolutely amazing film. So yeah, Don't Look Now. All right, then we got this Arrow release, maybe my favourite Arrow release, definitely my favourite for artwork, Donnie Darko. Okay, I love the artwork on this, absolutely sublime. And on the back, so this is a 4K, it has two cuts. Um, I prefer the director's cut because it doesn't lay it out on a plate for you, but you do end up with a bit more closure than the theatrical cut. The theatrical cut just leaves you scratching your brain too much. I watched it three or four times, still couldn't get no closure. Then watched the director's cut and thought it was much better. Felt much more satisfied. Um, so I was going to do entry of the book. So here's the book. We're going to work on the book as well. Okay, yeah, so that's Donnie Darko. Then we got another German release. This was pretty cheap. This is Dread. Only got a slim Amore case. No reversible art. Um, movie was okay. Not that great, really. I thought I liked it more the first time. It's basically just the raid with bloody drugs, um, hallucinogenics, whatever. But... Um, yeah, okay, worth a watch, but maybe not um, something to keep returning to. All right, then we got two movies here. First of all, we got the remake, Dune. Saw this in a cinema. I haven't lost my 4K yet, um, but I will get around to it. Probably closer to when the second one's coming out and I want to recap. So Dune. And then obviously I got the remake, uh, the remaster of the old one from Arrow. I love the artwork on this, absolutely wicked. Love the colours. Of the sandworm, not too much going on on the back. I did watch it, <laughs> film's absolutely crap. I turned it off the first time after 20 odd minutes, um, but I kept going the second time. Stings about the only saving grace in this, really. That's only because you laugh at him. So that's Doom. All right, that's it for the D's. Then we're on to E's. Okay, so I showed this one off on my recent video, so I won't waste too much time on it. A bowler syndrome, I haven't watched it yet, so can't give any comments on it, but look forward to watching it soon. Again, never seen this one, so I can't comment on it. This is another Vintage Classics. This is The Elephant Man. I only grabbed this the other day. Still in the cellophane. Going to get around to watching this sooner rather than later. Though. David Lynch, uh, John Hurd, Anthony Hopkins. Um, so, yeah, awesome. All right, this is one I bought recently as well. I've seen both the films before, but I haven't watched these 4Ks yet. The Equalizer. This was from Germany. This was cheap, like £12 for two 4Ks. No reversible art to get rid of that, unfortunately. But, yeah, first one's really good dirty and grimy like feel like you need a shower after watching it but the second one is just like a, a a movie version of call of duty it just goes a bit silly i heard they might be making a third so we'll see how that goes the equalizer all right then we've got the special edition although they shouldn't really call it special because there's nothing special about it whatsoever escape from la so this was like 35 quid when it came out and the pack what you've got in the pack just wasn't worth it at all. I think it even went cheaper than the standard release in the end. Like, so people are buy, buying this cheaper than the standard, which makes no sense whatsoever. But um, 4K looked really nice. Film's good, cheesy, shocking CGI. But that's what we love about 90s films, 90s actions, what I do anyway. This is a great film. I ordered this one all the way from South America because I couldn't get it. Uh, Ex Machina. I think um, I say I ordered it from South America. I think it is an American release, but maybe just... Um, the place I ordered it from was based in Mexico or somewhere, I don't know. It's a thin anime case, cost quite a lot as well, it's cost about 23 quid um, just for the film. You do get two discs, mine, 4K and a Blu-ray. But anyway, this is done by Alex Garland, who done um, Annihilation and recently Men. This is his best film by far, this is amazing. Uh, Oscar Isaac, one of my favourite actors, Dom Gleason, really good film, X Machina. Alright, then under the F then, so first one we got, got this cheap on Amazon. Fantastic beast somewhere to find them. Just a collection builder, still in the cellophane at the moment. I've seen it a long time ago, can't remember much about it. Probably wait till I get the other two cheap and then we'll jump into them all then. Alright, so I wasn't going to start collecting these movies. And if I was to collect them, I would have been much better off buying the box set. But I made the mistake of buying part seven, because it's directed by James Wan. And I wanted to get all his movies. So Fast and the Furious 7, and after I bought number seven... I thought I'm going to get them, but I'm going to get them slowly when they're cheap. So I got number seven, which was quite cheap. I got number eight, still in the cellophane, which was quite cheap. I got Hobson Shaw, which I think I got like a two for 25 
or whatever so that was a good deal this is the first one even though it says fast and furious which is the title of the fourth one in most places and i think it should be called the fast and the furious but it is definitely the first one i watched it so yeah it's really good cheap thin amory case on this one a little bit of a mud muddled collection like some got slips some haven't some are from germany some are from britain so that's why i should have just bought a box sex really for the continue for the continuity and then this is the second one too fast to furious i remember hating this film when i first seen it so i have much the 4k still in the cellophane but um yeah so that's one two three four so that's five fast and the furious films out of what ten so five to go I want to show this off recently, so I won't waste too much time on it. But it's the Vinegar Syndrome release of Flash for Flash for Frankenstein. Try saying that after ten points. Paul Morrissey, okay. Wicked set one. Got a three D version in here, and they give you the three D glasses, so that's cool. Then we got this one again. This is part of a collection of movies, but I've only got this one, The Forever Purge. I haven't watched it yet. It's still in the cellophane. I think I got it on a two for twenty five though. So um, yeah, The Forever Purge. Gone like slip. This one I got an offer. I think I got this with um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This is Free Guy. I didn't really enjoy this film. I know lots of people did. I didn't. I just thought it's been done so many times before. Nothing original about it whatsoever. But some good cast. Uh, Jodie Comer's in it. So uh, yeah, Free Guy. Then the last one for the apps and the last one for this video then. This is Stanley Kubrick's Full Metal Jacket. All right. I have got a Stanley Kubrick box set with this in as well. But it's only on Blu-ray and I have watched that. I think it's only on Blu-ray anyway, some of them are 4K, some of them are blues in the set. But this was on offer in HMV. I couldn't leave it there. I love these ones with the books and the um, filming with these side-loading boxes. They look wicked on the shelf. So that's Full Metal Jacket. All right, then, so that was just tipping over the edge of about 50 movies. A to F, I'll come back now um, in a few days um, with another selection. It'll be something like, what, uh, G to M, maybe, something like that. And then it'd be the back end then. So it'd be three videos covering just over 154 games. All right, then I've been Bumper. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you soon.